Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of this a deck of scarlet palette i'm gonna kind of tell you what deck of scarlet is because it was new to me when i ordered it and i'm gonna do a little unboxing for you guys i mean i've already seen it but you guys might want to see what comes in it when you open it so without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay so this was sent to me through octoly if you don't know octoly is just google what it is and you'll get a nice explanation but anyways i'm on deck of scarlet's website right now and pretty much what it is, is you get a new palette every other month. But if you don't like the palette, you can just skip it. Because you only pay for what, like, ships to you. So I think that's really cool, because then you won't get bored of, like, the same colors. Especially if you don't have a ton of makeup, I feel like this would be really good. Because you'll see when I unbox it, what is in it and what the palette looks like. And you can cancel anytime, because if you don't like it, which I don't see why you wouldn't. In. so this is edition number eight so there's different editions so this is the may to june one i believe yes i think this one is super pretty and now i'll go ahead and unbox it so you can see what it looks like which is probably what you've all been waiting for when you open it um uh, my i don't know if it'll come in your guys's but since it was sent to me through octoly they made me a little note i think it is so sweet i'll go ahead and show you what it looks like but yeah I think that is so sweet of them and then it also comes with what it is yeah again that's what it is and this is a collaboration with this girl I'm not even gonna say her name because I feel like I'm going to butcher it but it's that and that's what she looks like so when you open it it looks like this I think it is super nicely laid out this one actually came with a lip gloss which we'll be using today also this is what the palette looks like it is super nice feeling and looking and like I said it's edition number eight so when you open it it looks like this so you have this side which are two lip products which I've already swatched and used and they are amazing but we'll use them today too and then in here it comes with three eyeshadows, a highlighter, and a blush. So the only thing that I can see as a problem with these are it's a different highlighter and blush each time. So the highlighter may not work for you, but I mean, you can always use it as an eyeshadow. And the blush, it may not be your favorite shade. And then the lip gloss is this lip gloss. I think it is super cool. So that's the lip gloss. I think it is super pretty looking. It almost looks like a lip topper. It's in this shade Love Spell. So it's so pretty and again, we'll use it in the video. So anyways, with all of that rambling being done, I'll go ahead and create a look for you guys. So actually before I head before I go ahead and start with the palette, I'm going to go ahead and do some face makeup and my eyebrows because this does not include like a foundation or concealer or eyebrow products or anything like that okay i'm back and i just did some foundation concealer quickly did my eyebrows and bronzer so now let's go ahead and get on to the look so i'm first going to start with the eyeshadow there's only three shades of eyeshadow so it's pretty self-explanatory i mean there is some different ways you could do it but i'm going to be doing it probably the most simple way you can do it so first i'm taking this shade called myth but it's this kind of like cool toned brown shade and i'm just gonna add that kind of like as my transition shade these are super pigmented and they're like really nice like did you see how fast that blended out i honestly didn't I honestly didn't think that the eyeshadows would be so good then i'm just taking a much smaller brush and i'm taking the shade Brown, which is that super pretty purpley pink shade and I'm putting that on the outer corner of my that's pigmented on the outer corner of my eye and kind of just blending it up and into the crease these are so easy to blend out and they're so pigmented wow <laughs> I've like swatched these before but I've never used them on my eyes so I had no idea that they were this good and like this isn't even sponsored this is my honest opinions and I Wow. And then of course I'm taking this shade called Enchanted, which is so pretty because it's a duochrome from like a rosy color to gold. I'm just going to take it on this brush that came in the Naked 2 palette and just put it on the inner part or inner half of my lid. Like I didn't even spray that and that's already super pretty, but I think I'm going to go ahead and spray it just to make it even better because this isn't super buttery, like it's more of a drier formula, but it's still like amazing. Okay, I'm actually like in love with this eye look. I just ran a couple of the shades 
on my lower lash line also but did you like that was so easy like that that was actually so easy to do and i'm not even just saying that next i'm going to go in with blush so the blush shade is called tiara i think the shade names are so pretty i'm going to dip into it and a lot of stuff picks up so i'm just going to tap it off but personally i really really like blush so i don't mind the blush look the, the blush look and i'm going to be honest this isn't my favorite blush because i don't know if you can tell but it got super not easy to blend out there so kind of like wherever you put it it kind of stays there so after i got that blush blended out it's really not bad at all i'm going to move on to highlighter and the highlighter is called fairy dust it is also really pretty like i'm gonna swatch it it's such a unique highlighter highlighter like honestly it's a really pretty shade like that is so pretty <laughs> wow okay i don't yeah i don't have a highlighter like it that's gorgeous actually it's like a yellowy golden highlight i mean you can like when i look straight on you can kind of like see the lines because it's a little dark for me and i'm also going to add it to my inner corners and brow bone since there wasn't another shade in the eyeshadow to do i usually do this with my highlighter uh when i do my eyeshadow anyways or if i don't do eyeshadow like i'll do it anyways so for lips i have two options i have kiss and maiden i'm going to swatch both of the both of them for you but i think i'm going to use maiden today because why not they are so pigmented when i first felt them they felt like they would be hard but not pigmented at all really like right when you put your finger in it that's so pretty and then maiden if you can just do this so I'm going to apply it with this e.l.f. small angled brush, which definitely isn't the brush that you should be using for it. And there's also purple on it. This shade is actually so pretty. Yeah, it goes really nice with the look. It's just, I'm not into these types of shades. Okay, before I move on, I need to apply mascara because it's looking really weird without it. So I'll be back. Okay, I got the mascara on. It's looking a little better, but my lip shape is definitely not right because that brush was really hard to use with it but now i'm going to add some of this lip gloss on but i'm going to swatch it for you first wow that was a terrible swatch but that's what it looks like i did not even like rub it out at all but it's not complete shimmer it still has some actual gloss to it but like look how pretty that is like that's really gorgeous i'm going to put it on hopefully it doesn't like stain the actual brush that's so pretty. It smells so good. It smells like cupcake batter. So good. That's the lip. Um, I love this look and it did not take me long at all. Okay, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think this is so underrated. Like I haven't heard that many people talk about it or that many people talk about Deck of Scarlet. So really, I think that this is worth it and I have or it's not like my code, but there is a code to get you 30% off of your first month subscription. But you can use code Barry for it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. So yeah, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!